Hey guys, how's it going? It's Brian from Brian Boas here. I have some really beautiful 2022 born baby boas that I still have here. And as you know, I have a lot of 2023 babies on the way, just around the corner. So I decided to have a sale. I've reduced all the prices on my boas on my Flickr page, where you can see the ones I have available. The link to the Flickr page is actually below this video description if you want to go check them out. But for today, I thought I would show you guys some close-up video footage of some of the beautiful animals that I have available. Say a little bit more about how you can add one of these animals to your breeding group or as a new pet if you so desire. So again, the available animals are on my Flickr site with the prices and information listed there as well. And also I have my terms of sale, a link underneath the video description, along with the link to the Flickr site. So check those out if you're interested. So shoot me an email if you want more information or if you want to purchase one of these beautiful animals. So now I'm gonna get out my close-up lens. We'll take a quick look at some of the beautiful boas that are available. Here's the Suriname True Red Tail. This one is actually a 2021 baby. This uh, female is now almost two years old so she's got some nice size some nice muscularity on her if you're looking to start a Suriname true uh, red tail breeding project this one will give you a little bit of a head start or if you just want to add a slightly older female to a breeding group you're working on this is a great choice just a real nice animal that I was thinking about holding back for a while and then, then I thought I'd sell then I thought well I'll hold her back but now I've decided that I just need to make some more room. Got a lot of really beautiful Suriname, so I'm going to let this one go. So if you're looking for a real nice Suriname, this one might be the one for you. Here's another real nice Suriname from 2022. This is from my fourth litter, my what I call my double dose Prometheus litter because both of the parents were of the Prometheus bloodline. And these are really beautiful. They really amplify the traits of that bloodline including the high contrast, the kind of wild look, and the color, and of course the long red tail. And I had a litter last year. These guys, most of them sold pretty quickly, but I just have a couple left. So if you want to get into a really exciting true red tail project, these animals are a great uh, thing to add to your breeding group. This one is female number 4-1F. Here's another real stunning Suriname true red tail. This is from my litter 3 from 2022, which is kind of a dwarfish bloodline litter. It's a cross between one of my bloodlines and a female that I got from Russell Lafleur and have been growing up for quite a while. The female is only about four and a half to five feet long. This was her first litter. So if you're looking for a true red tail that might be on the smaller side, this might be the litter for you. And they're just really stunning looking animals as well. And just check out that beautiful long red tail and these nice peaked markings just a beautiful looking male this one I came close to holding back it was really tough between this guy and one other male from the litter but this one is available and just a really beautiful one this is a male one uh, male 3-1 from 2022 beautiful Suriname true red tail one more Suriname to look at this guy is from litter 2 from 2022 this is a Prometheus bloodline. This guy's definitely got the look of the bloodline. Beautiful peak saddles and lots of contrast, long red tail. These guys are really well started. They're almost a year old. And this guy is one of the nicest in the litter, still available, as are quite a few of his litter mate siblings. I just look at that beautiful long red tail and these markings and contrast. Just a really nice animal and perfect if you're looking for a top shelf Suriname true red tail. I have a few long tail or longicata boas left like this one and these guys are doing great they're now almost a year old you can see this one is starting to darken up she's getting a lot of the dark speckling and pigment these guys undergo a really neat metamorphosis and get much darker with each shed as they get older and when they're adults they look completely different there you can see the pretty face of this boa. And as I mentioned, I just have a few left of these. Not sure if I'm gonna have any in 2023. Paired some up, but don't know if it took, but just have the few of these guys left. So beautiful long tail 
Laundry Carabola. Here's a beautiful Coupe's Pastel Colombian Boa. This is a selectively bred pastel bloodline of pure Colombian Boa. This is my last remaining female, or last remaining animal from 2022. This one unfortunately is going into shed right now, so she's looking kind of dull. But uh, she'll be much brighter as soon as she sheds. These guys have a beautiful orange coloration, almost like they're dipped in orange paint. There you can see a close-up of this pretty Coupe's Pastel Colombian. And these guys also make great pets. They're just super chill and laid back. Probably the best first time boa for a new boa keeper is just a normal Colombian like this one. Just beautiful Coupe's Pastel Colombian boa. I have a couple more boas remaining from 2022. They're both Moran jungles like this one. Beautiful Moran jungle female. Moran is an incomplete dominant pastel. Jungle is an incomplete dominant that has a lot of neat effects on the pattern and color and they just work really well together. I think one of my favorite two gene combo morphs is the Moran Jungle. And you can see why looking at this one, the colors just pop, the contrast just pops, and the markings are really cool. And this female is a great example of the morph. Just look at how pretty she is. Just a beautiful animal. If you're looking to get into a morph project, this is a great starting snake because it's two incomplete dominant genes. You can breed this one with any normal boa that doesn't have any genes and it's going to pass on both of them so great animal for a pet or morph project Moran jungle female from 2022. so i hope you like looking at the close-ups of these beautiful available 2022 baby boas as i mentioned before you can check them out at the Flickr site along with quite a few others that are, i have available right now you can also read my terms of sale at the link uh, underneath the video description as well as reach out to me by email with any questions or comments you may have. And these guys, 2022 babies are a great deal because they have a lot of growth on them. They're really, really well started. And um, these guys, you know, once I have my 2023s on the ground, they'll probably go up in price because now they're no, no longer babies, but they're actually sub-adult or, you know, juvenile boas rather than babies. So. Anyway, if you want to get one, now is the time because you'll get a really good deal for a really beautiful, well-started animal. And I hope you saw something you like. As always, shoot me any questions or comments. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.